Welcome, viewers, to an in-depth exploration into the multifaceted career of one of the most iconic figures in the entertainment industry 50 Cent. As a journalist specializing in the intricacies of celebrity culture and success narratives, I am thrilled to take you on a journey through the highs and lows of 50 Cent's remarkable trajectory. From his humble beginnings to his meteoric rise as a rapper, producer, actor, and savvy entrepreneur. We delve into the essence of his persona, exploring the lavish lifestyle he leads. The opulent villas he calls home, the sleek cars he commands, and the staggering net worth that symbolizes his enduring legacy. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. 50 Cent is an American rapper, producer, actor, and businessman who has a net worth of $40 million as of April 2024. Renowned for his unique style characterized by compelling lyrics and infectious hooks, 50 Cent has captivated audiences worldwide, selling millions of albums and earning widespread acclaim. However, his influence transcends music, as evidenced by his ventures in business and entertainment. Notably, his investment in Vitamin Water proved to be a game-changer, yielding a substantial payout upon the company's acquisition by Coca-Cola. Moreover, 50 Cent has seamlessly transitioned into the realms of film and television, showcasing his talents as both an actor and producer. One of his most notable successes in television is the semi-autobiographical series, Power, which garnered immense popularity and spawned numerous spin-offs. Through his multifaceted career, 50 Cent has amassed significant wealth, earning an estimated $200 to $300 million from various endeavors, including record sales, tours, and lucrative brand partnerships. Despite his financial success, 50 Cent faced challenges, notably filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in July 2015. This setback was attributed to lavish spending, particularly on real estate, cars, and legal battles. However, even amidst adversity, 50 Cent's resilience and determination remained unwavering. Prior to his bankruptcy, 50 Cent's assets had reached a staggering $100 million at their peak, underscoring his remarkable rise to prominence and subsequent financial achievements. Despite the challenges he faced, 50 Cent's enduring impact on music, business, and entertainment continues to be felt, cementing his status as an icon in the industry. Curtis James Jackson III, famously known as 50 Cent, was born on July 6, 1975, in Queens, New York City, and grew up in the South Jamaica neighborhood under the care of his mother. Sabrina, sadly, tragedy struck early in his life when his mother passed away in a fire when he was just eight years old. Jackson later disclosed that his mother was a lesbian, shedding light on his upbringing. Following his mother's death and his father's departure, Jackson was raised by his grandparents. His formative years were marked by the challenges of inner city life, where he found solace and purpose in boxing. From the age of 11, he laced up his gloves, honing his skills in the ring. However, the lure of the streets proved strong, and Jackson was drawn into the world of drug dealing, beginning at the tender age of 12. Masking his activities from his grandparents, he navigated a double life, bringing guns and drug money to school under the guise of participating in after-school programs. The facade crumbled when he was caught by a metal detector at Andrew Jackson High School a humiliating experience that prompted him to openly admit his involvement in drug dealing to his family. Legal troubles soon followed, culminating in his arrest at the age of 19 for selling drugs to an undercover officer. Subsequent police raids uncovered a cache of illegal substances, leading to a three- to nine-year prison sentence. Despite the severity of his circumstances, Jackson emerged from incarceration after six months in boot camp, armed with a newfound determination to turn his life around. He pursued education, earning his GED, and embarked on a path towards redemption. It was during this transformative period that Jackson adopted the moniker, 50 Cent. Inspired by the notorious Brooklyn mobster Kelvin Martin, the name symbolized change and resilience, embodying Jackson's resolve to rise above his circumstances. I'm just like 50 Cent, he declared, I support myself in every way. It was in the humble setting of a friend's basement that he began experimenting with rap, utilizing a turntable to lay down beats and record his early compositions. However, it was a fortuitous encounter in 1996 that would change the course of his career when a friend introduced him to the legendary Jam Master J of Run DMC, who was in the process of founding Jam Master J Records. Under J's mentorship, Jackson honed his craft, learning the intricacies of songwriting, music production, and studio recording. 
His debut into the music scene came with a feature on Onyx's React for their 1998 album Shut Him Down, marking the beginning of his ascent in the industry. Jay's guidance proved instrumental in refining Jackson's skills, particularly in crafting memorable hooks, and he even produced Jackson's first album. Though it remained unreleased, in 1999, Jackson's talent caught the attention of platinum producers Trackmasters, who swiftly signed him to Columbia Records. Tasked with unleashing his creative potential, Jackson embarked on a prolific recording spree, churning out an impressive 36 songs in just two weeks at a studio in upstate New York. Half of these tracks would find their way onto his debut album, Power of the Dollar, released in 2000. Despite his burgeoning success, Jackson's journey was fraught with challenges and dangers lurking in the streets. His provocative underground single, How to Rob, courted controversy, drawing responses from heavyweight figures in the rap industry. However, just as his star was on the rise, tragedy struck when he fell victim to a brutal shooting outside his grandmother's former home in South Jamaica. The attack left Jackson with nine gunshot wounds, including a facial injury that altered his appearance and necessitated a lengthy recovery period. Undeterred by the ordeal, Jackson emerged from the hospital with a renewed sense of purpose. Fueled by a determination to overcome adversity and fulfill his potential, his resilience was further evidenced by his swift return to the studio, where he recorded a plethora of mixtapes, leveraging the burgeoning mixtape circuit to maintain his relevance in the industry. For 50 Cent, one such moment arrived in 2002 when his mixtape, Guess Who's Back, caught the attention of none other than rap superstar Eminem. Eminem, impressed by 50 Cent's raw talent and lyrical prowess, wasted no time in extending an invitation for the rising star to journey to Los Angeles. Bolstered by his newfound alliance with Eminem and Dr. Dre, 50 Cent unleashed his debut album, Get Rich or Die Tryin', in February 2003. The album, described by all music as one of the most hyped debuts in rap history, immediately captivated audiences with its dark, gritty soundscapes and 50 Cent's distinctive flow. Debuting at number one on the Billboard 200 chart and selling a staggering 872,000 copies in its first four days, Get Rich or Die Tryin' firmly established 50 Cent as a force to be reckoned with in the rap game. In March 2005, 50 Cent unleashed his sophomore album, The Massacre, Upon the World, selling a remarkable 1,100,000 pounds copies in its first four days and dominating the charts for six consecutive weeks. With smash hits like Candy Shop, Disco Inferno, the massacre showcased 50 Cent's versatility as an artist and solidified his status as a bona fide rap icon. Never one to rest on his laurels, 50 Cent expanded his reach beyond music, venturing into the world of video games with the release of 50 Cent. Bulletproof in November 2005, in September 2007, 50 Cent unveiled his third studio album, Curtis, drawing inspiration from his life before the monumental success of Get Rich or Die Tryin'. The album made a splash, debuting at an impressive number two on the Billboard 200 chart, with sales soaring to 691,000 copies in its very first week. However, its release coincided with Kanye West's graduation, setting the stage for a highly publicized sales battle between the two titans of hip-hop. On the September 10, 2008, episode of Total Request Live, he announced the impending release of his fourth studio album, Before I Self-Destruct, which he revealed would be finished and hitting the shelves in November. Building anticipation, he dropped, OK, You're Right, a track produced by Dr. Dre, on May 18, 2009, offering fans a taste of what was to come. Before I Self-Destruct, finally hit stores on November 9, 2009, debuting at a respectable number 5 on the Billboard 200 chart. This marked 50 Cent's fourth consecutive top 5 album in the United States, further solidifying his status as a heavyweight in the rap game. With each release, 50 Cent continued to evolve as an artist, captivating audiences with his raw talent and unyielding determination. Inspired by his experiences in European nightclubs, where he witnessed the pulsating energy of Eurodance music, he initially set out to create an album titled, Black Magic. However, upon returning from his invitation tour in 2010, he shifted gears, opting to explore a different direction for his next release which he dubbed, The Return of the Heartless Monster. On June 20, 2011, 50 Cent made headlines with the announcement of his fifth album, Before I Self-Destruct 2. Despite initial plans for a music video for the lead single, 
I'm on it, the project faced delays. Undeterred, 50 Cent revealed collaborations with renowned producers like Just Blaze and Alex Da Kid, signaling a diverse range of sounds for the album. Further expanding his brand, 50 Cent entered the energy drink market with the launch of Street King Energy Track Other 7 Inches in September 2011, supporting his charity energy drink, Street King. Despite challenges and delays, 50 Cent remained focused on his musical endeavors. In January 2014, he unveiled plans for Animal Ambition and Street King Immortal, marking a significant shift in his career as he parted ways with his longtime record labels. Emphasizing his friendship with Eminem and Dr. Dre as pivotal factors in his decision, 50 Cent embraced newfound freedom in promoting Animal Ambition, dropping singles like Funeral and Hold On, accompanied by captivating music videos. In May 2015, 50 Cent shared exciting news during an interview, revealing plans to preview the first single, Immortal, from his upcoming album, Street King Immortal, over Memorial Day weekend with a likely release in June. Just days later, on May 20, he dropped Get Low, the album's lead single produced by Remo the Hitmaker. The track featured collaborations with prominent artists like 2 Chains, T.I., and Jeremiah, setting the stage for what was to come. Fast forward to March 31, 2017, when Interscope Records released 50 Cent's final album for the label, a greatest hits compilation titled Best of, marking the end of an era. In 2020, Jackson took on executive and production roles for the debut album of the late rapper Pop Smoke, titled Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon, which was released on July 3, 2020. Dot, fall 2021 marked the release of Black Mafia Family, a Stars series executive produced by Jackson. The show delves into the true story of two Detroit brothers involved in drug trafficking and money laundering, showcasing Jackson's knack for storytelling. The momentum continued into 2022 when 50 Cent surprised audiences as a performer during the Super Bowl 56 halftime show on February 13. His electrifying performance earned him the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Variety Special, live, in September. My dear audience, what do you think about his career over the years, along with his enviable assets? Your feedback is invaluable to us, so please leave us your comments in the section below. And now we come to the houses he already owns. Mansion in Connecticut, situated on a sprawling 17-acre plot of land in Connecticut, this grand estate was a testament to extravagance and excess. Purchased in 2003 for a hefty sum of $4,100,000, 50 Cent spared no expense in transforming it into his own personal oasis, shelling out an additional $6 million on lavish upgrades and amenities. Spanning an impressive 50,000 square meters, the mansion boasted an extraordinary 37 bathrooms and 21 bedrooms, epitomizing grandeur in every corner. As one entered through the stately gate adorned with a majestic lion statue, they were greeted by a bright foyer, adorned with a wood-paneled staircase that exuded elegance. Each bedroom within the mansion was spacious, offering serene views of the lush, tree-lined yard. The bathroom was a sanctuary in itself, featuring a large soaking tub overlooking the verdant landscape accompanied by a glass door shower and a meticulously designed walk-in closet. Designed for entertainment, the mansion boasted an array of leisure facilities including a billiards room, a nightclub, and multiple game rooms. For those inclined towards artistic pursuits, a recording studio stood ready to inspire creativity. Meanwhile, fitness enthusiasts could indulge in the well-equipped fitness center or unwind in the indoor basketball court after a rigorous workout session. The interior of the mansion was adorned with luxury, featuring marble floors, elegant furnishings, and intricate details throughout. A Weber Grand Piano added a touch of sophistication near the lobby, while the home theater, with its blue velvet walls and reclining leather chairs, promised an immersive cinematic experience. Outside, the estate was equally enchanting, with amenities such as an outdoor basketball court and a picturesque pool surrounded by stone archways and lush foliage. Perfect for hosting extravagant pool parties. A hidden grotto added an element of mystery to the pool area, while an indoor swimming pool with glass walls provided a serene retreat. Despite its allure, the mansion faced challenges in finding a buyer, with reports indicating that 50 Cent incurred substantial expenses amounting to $70,000 per month for utility bills, maintenance, and other costs associated with the upkeep of the estate. In an attempt to sell the property, 50 Cent initially listed it for $18,500,000 in 2007 
only to be met with disappointment as no buyers materialized. Despite subsequent efforts to lower the price, including a significant reduction to $5 million in September 2018, the mansion remained unsold. Ultimately, in April 2019, 50 Cent accepted an offer of $2,900,000, marking an 84% discount from the original asking price and resulting in a loss of $1,200,000 from the initial purchase. Dear viewers, what do you think about the house above? Let us know below in the comments section. And now we invite you to follow along to see what cars are in his supercar collection. Cars. In his impressive car collection, 50 Cent boasts a Lamborghini Aventador as his flagship vehicle. The Aventador is renowned for its striking design and unparalleled performance, featuring a powerful V12 engine that propels it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. With a price tag of around $510,000. This Italian supercar epitomizes luxury and speed, making it a prized possession for car enthusiasts worldwide. Among his prized possessions is a classic 1991 BMW 850i exuding timeless elegance and sophistication. The 850i, with its sleek lines and powerful V12 engine, represents a golden era of automotive engineering. Priced at approximately $73,000, this vintage gem combines luxury and performance in a package that continues to captivate collectors and enthusiasts alike. Adding a touch of rugged refinement to his collection is the Mercedes-Benz G-Class, a rugged yet luxurious SUV known for its off-road capabilities and opulent interior. With a price tag of around $175,000, the G-Class offers unmatched versatility and comfort, making it a favorite among celebrities and discerning drivers alike. In the realm of luxury SUVs, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan reigns supreme, commanding attention with its majestic presence and exquisite craftsmanship. Priced at approximately $460,000, the Cullinan boasts unrivaled comfort and refinement, setting a new standard for opulence on the road. Another Lamborghini graces 50 Cent's collection with the Murcielago, a formidable supercar revered for its bold styling and blistering performance. With a price tag of around $300,000, the Murcielago embodies the spirit of Italian automotive excellence, delivering adrenaline-fueled thrills with every drive. In contrast to the high-performance exotics, 50 Cent also appreciates the Pontiac G8, a stylish and affordable sedan that offers a balance of performance and practicality. Priced at approximately $30,000, the G8 combines American muscle with everyday usability, making it a versatile addition to his collection. Ferrari enthusiasts will appreciate 50 cents ownership of the Ferrari 430, a true masterpiece of Italian engineering and design. Priced at around $290,000, the 430 delivers exhilarating performance and timeless style, cementing its status as a coveted symbol of automotive excellence. The Rolls-Royce drophead represents the epitome of luxury and exclusivity, with its convertible roof and impeccable craftsmanship. Priced at approximately $270,000, the drophead combines the prestige of the Rolls-Royce brand with the thrill of open-air motoring, creating a truly unforgettable driving experience. Continuing his affinity for Ferrari, 50 Cent includes the Ferrari FF in his collection, a versatile grand tourer that offers both performance and practicality. Priced at around $140,000, the FF combines the exhilarating driving dynamics of a sports car with the comfort and space of a luxury sedan, making it an ideal choice for long-distance journeys. Finally, the Rolls-Royce Phantom stands as the crown jewel of 50 Cent's collection, epitomizing the pinnacle of automotive luxury and refinement. With a price tag of around $550,000, the Phantom exudes prestige and opulence, offering unparalleled comfort and sophistication for discerning drivers. Dear viewers, what do you think about the luxury cars he is using? Let us know below in the comments section. Now we will see how he contributed to charity throughout the years of his career. Philanthropy, G-Unity, short for, the G-Unity Foundation, is an American nonprofit organization founded by the renowned rapper 50 Cent and his group G-Unit. This foundation has a noble mission, to support and uplift disadvantaged communities across the United States. Through grants and funding, G-Unity aims to improve the quality of life for those living in low-income and underserved areas. At the heart of G-Unity's work is a commitment to making a positive impact on society. By providing financial support to nonprofit organizations, the foundation facilitates initiatives that address key issues facing marginalized communities. 
These issues may include access to education, health care, housing, and other essential services that are often lacking in impoverished areas. Through strategic partnerships and collaborations with grassroots organizations, G-Unity ensures that its resources are directed towards initiatives that have a tangible and lasting impact. By empowering local leaders and community activists, the foundation works to create sustainable solutions to systemic challenges, fostering long-term change and transformation. Personal Life The life of rapper 50 Cent, also known as Curtis Jackson, is marked by various events that have garnered public attention. One significant aspect of his personal life is his relationship with his son Marquise Jackson, born in October 1996 to his ex-girlfriend Shaniqua Tompkins. Despite the joy of fatherhood, their relationship has been fraught with legal disputes and public arguments. Tompkins once sued Jackson for a staggering $50 million, but the lawsuit was eventually dismissed. Their disagreements have spilled over onto social media platforms where they have engaged in heated exchanges multiple times. In 2005, he made headlines by supporting President George W. Bush, particularly after fellow rapper Kanye West criticized the president's response to the Hurricane Katrina disaster. However, as the political landscape evolved, so did Jackson's views. In subsequent years, he threw his support behind Barack Obama in 2008 and Hillary Clinton in 2016, reflecting a shift in his political affiliations over time. Thank you for watching the entire video. Your support means the world to us. If you liked this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You'll stay updated on all our latest uploads and help us grow our community. Thank you.